Uh, my primary interests uh, as an artist and filmmaker are uh, in subverting um, traditional structures uh, and dealing with uh, non-traditional uh, narratives. So in Eyes Desires, I uh, literally climb into the eye of the viewer, um, and that's more of a representation of both uh, the uh, changing perspectives and being in control of the viewer's eye in a very same way that a film, when you go into a dark room with the you know, projection on the wall, um, you're literally um, giving up your consciousness for a while in order for uh, the filmmaker to take you on a story. Um, and so climbing into the eye is drawing attention to that. I approach film more like a, an artist would approach a collage in a way. Uh, you would take multiple types of media together in order to transform them and really change them all. Uh, to be more than the sum of their parts, if that makes sense. Do you want me to 
could tell you that it's dark. Do you want me to tell you about me? What is it that you want to hear? What is it that you want me to tell you? I think that film is both a good thing and a bad thing as far as uh, being in control. Uh, I think it is a way to control an audience and to control a population, but at the same time it's a way to kind of escape and be um, entertained for a while. And so I think that there's, it's a complicated relationship. Uh, and I think that um, the role of a film is to not break ethical lines. And I think sometimes they do in the way that they um, uh, show problematic things in a favorable light or um, situations like that. And so my films often deal with that relationship uh, between kind of ethical lines and lines between truth and fiction. The idea behind Eyes Desires actually came from a dream. Um, I dreamt about uh, me climbing into somebody's eye with a ladder um, and that image kind of it, it planted the seed for the rest of the ideas. Building on that, you know, dealing with what the audience's expectations are coming into a film and dealing with the idea uh, that the filmmaker is either playing on them or you know, um, satisfying them or potentially shattering them and that's the kind of the basis of um, fulfillment in a film. <laughs>